initializing storage system display. Connection to Earth in progress. Destroyed. Earth is gone. All these years wasted dreaming of a rescue from a place that's nothing but a cloud of scattered rocks. Everyone on Mars, if they hear of this, they'll be devastated. What should I do, Andrew? Wish I had the perfect answer for you. But I can only tell you how I feel. And I feel that people deserve the truth. The truth will set us free, right? Without a doubt, it will cause riots. Maybe even wars. But you'll finally give people a chance to leave their lives of ignorance. Knowing that Mars is all we have is a scary thing, but it's just as liberating. And ceasing to pretend that technomancers are human We'll let you, me, and all our brothers and sisters live openly, free and proud. And I'm sure that Noctis or Mutant Valley would welcome us if the Corporation's views on us turn sour. What do you think I should do, Amelia? Grow a pair of ears, will ya? I say, cut the bullshit. Tell everyone the truth. It'll suck in the beginning, but only by knowing will people start growing. Damn, I should be a poet. Abundance might fall, but after what they did to us, this sucks to suck. Then we could always crash in Arctis or Mutant Valley, right? It's time for the truth. There'll be no more hiding, no more secrets. I'm gonna tell them of Earth's destruction and reveal the true identity of every single Technomancer on the planet. This news will send shockwaves across Mars, but it's the first step for changing our planet. For the better. Let's go. Mutant Valley awaits. Looking back now, I bet I wouldn't even recognize the young Zachariah Mancer who just earned his stripes. And little did I know that all my choices would compound together and shape the city under the ice. By allowing Bolgakov safe passage out of the city, the Resistance survived and thrived, and their support later proved invaluable. Despite my orders, I couldn't bring myself to kill my fellow man, and I let the deserters and their leader go, only to find that one day, he would return the favor. I remember letting poor Dave go, understanding he only betrayed me to protect his family. Meanwhile, a more dangerous spy was hiding in my shadow. Despite everything Jeffrey did to me, I couldn't let Nisha shoot him down like a dog. And even in all my efforts to be a good soldier, I was still exiled from Ophir. No matter what happened, Victor was always going to discredit me. Yet my decisions of friends, alliances, would greatly influence the events that followed. The day I left Ophir in a stolen rover was the day I had chosen the people alongside me to become my companions. Through adventure, misfortune, and into battle. Later, I agreed to help Dandolo chase the Vori out of Noctis, for good, cutting them off at the bridgehead they hoped to use to infiltrate every settlement on Mars. And because of that, Anton came close to paying the ultimate price when his men picked him as the scapegoat. But he's not a man you get rid of that easily. By becoming the great master of Technomancers, I've earned their unwavering loyalty, but I've also accepted a lifelong responsibility since I've left the city under the ice, I've had many young apprentices, and the Order is powerful again, our future bright. Phobos, a great strategist and an even better friend, turned out to be a tremendous leader of Mutant Valley. So when the corporations attacked again and again, Phobos held the line again and again. With few losses in battle, and a flood of incoming refugees, he is now head of the most powerful force on the planet. The release of the mutants of Ophir opened a breach that was never resealed, 
thousands upon thousands of mutants escape to join Mutant Valley. And today, the citizens of Abundance actually have to do the labor themselves. My travels with Amelia opened my eyes to what else was out there, and what had been right there beside me. The dollar trash talk? She certainly has a big heart. She's been discovering new fertile lands to empower Mutant Valley to expand. Oh, and on the side, she opens new trade routes for Noctis. Yeah, so, that's my girlfriend. Whenever I can, I accompany her. I couldn't imagine doing anything else. I visit Scott on occasion. He's still probably legally crazy, but he's found a way to use that eccentric energy for good. He treats children in the slums of Old Deer. Though this time he's not using them as guinea pigs. Dandolo made the most of our alliance, as you would expect. Noctis is now ubiquitous. Its merchants have obtained the right to citizenship in Ophir, and are free to come and go from the exchange as they please. The opposition showed its strength when it helped me overthrow Victor, and the people have rewarded them with several seats in the assembly. Now, they promote their same ideals, but do so in a more legal fashion. I'm afraid that with their repeated outbursts, they're on a collision course with the violent side of human nature, but I admire their passion. Yet nothing compared to my revelations. Learning that Earth was destroyed, discovering that Technomancers were mutants crafted in the vision of the settlers. When I announced the truth, the corporations lashed out. There were widespread riots and revolts, and most Technomancers fled before the leaders of the Alliance could put the pieces together. To adapt to Mars, we had to mutate, or we wouldn't survive. Remaining human had only been an illusion, and one that we had unknowingly mastered. I heard that a few scientists have reproduced Scott's experiments, and I have no doubt there'll be more of us in the future. One day, Mutant Valley won't be the only place a mutant can call home. Instead, it'll be the capital, for a race spread across Mars. At least that's what I hope.